in California, but in Tennessee, my, my husband back home in Tennessee takes care of my little red horse. My little red horse is 29 this year. Little thoroughbred horse. He came into my, can everybody hear guitar out there? He came into my life 22 years ago. I was galloping steeplechase horses. See, I was a three-day event rider, and a lot of the event riders gallop steeplechase horses on the side because if you only have one horse going, you can't do enough galloping on your one horse to get, have the core fitness you need. So if you can pick up some steeplechase horses to gallop, it's a cool thing. And I was looking for a new event horse. I had this really nice horse I called Zinger. He was like a perfectly good Jeep Cherokee. Wonderful in four-wheel drive up to 40 miles an hour. And after 40 miles an hour, it just felt too fast. It was too fast for him. What I needed was a four-wheel drive Ferrari. And one day, galloping steeplechase sets. A four-wheel drive Ferrari galloped by me. I said, that is exactly the gallop I'm looking for. So light, you couldn't hear his feet hit the ground. Balanced. I just didn't want that one because he was too small. He was 15'3", that's small for a steeplechase horse. And he was a sorrel horse, a chestnut horse. Chestnut horses have a thing. He'd come out of his stall every day on his hind legs, kicking the air and gnashing his teeth. He hated everybody. Every once in a while, the trainer would look up at me and said, you need to, his, his nickname was Flipper. <laughs> They said, you need to gallop flipper today. And I said, oh, I think I have appendicitis. I'm pretty sure of it. <laughs> and tomorrow I'm going to have a root canal. Because <laughs> I didn't want to climb on him. He just looked terrible. But, you know, one day I had to gallop him. And, yeah, he leaped around. But he wasn't trying to get me off. Because God knows if he wanted to get me off, he could have. He wanted me to go along for the ride. And then he'd look over his shoulder and said, are you scared yet? <laughs> I loved him came up for sale cheap because he had this deal when he raced galloping down to the first fence and I'd tell the jockeys I'd put them on in the paddock and they'd say do I need to know anything about this horse I say yes don't pull on his face and don't say whoa and they go yeah 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 and they'd gallop down to the first fence and they'd steady him by going putting their feet on the dashboard going whoa 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 because the first fence is this tall and this horse was this tall you can't just hit it going 90 and they go whoa 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 and he go okay and I don't mean that he galloped down and steadied up and slowed down. He galloped right down to it going 40 miles an hour and then went. <laughs> <laughs> He'd put the jockey in the first fence and then jump over the jockey and finish the race by himself. Start <laughs> going like this. He won a lot of races that way. <laughs> but you don't get any money at the pay window when they do that. So he came up for sale cheap and I stuck my hand up and it was... In my career as a horse trainer, it was the worst mistake I ever made because it took a year to work out a deal. And here was the deal. I didn't pull on his mouth. And I didn't say, whoa. And he let me ride him. He ended up being a great event horse. And my little buddy. And this is his song. I saw a red horse run at the county fair. Watched him lose a match race there. He dumped his jockey at the start. Hey, that little red horse was a little too smart. But he jumped like a deer and ran like a cat. I had to have a horse like that. A little red horse. Dreamers, thieves, and losers go. And I asked if that horse could be bought. They said, yeah, as soon as we get him caught. They said, spread for speed, he'll bring a heap. I said, I've seen him buck, I'll buy him cheap. Bought a little red horse, cheap.
made him right. Cause that horse could bluff and that horse could fight. And one day he just came around. And he kept all four feet on the ground. We galloped everywhere we go. I loop the reins and I never say whoa. Too late to sell it. 